Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Darkest Dungeon. I feel like we've had two pretty strong missions in a row, in my opinion. Now, while we're here, I do want to get Mathis's yips treated. It's expensive, but minus 10 accuracy is very annoying. Then, well, let's take a look. You know, we haven't looked at this yet. We've never used our flagellant. We, we have to at some point. No doubt about it. Can we upgrade our roster size? Not yet, because we spent too many of our recently acquired deeds. These don't seem bad, but are they worth 10,000? It's a little rich for my blood. Um, let's go for the Wizened Hag. I've definitely fought her before. I'm assuming we don't want to take blighting units for this. We probably do want to take a lot of anti-venom, though. So, our squad was going to be Tomo, one of the first slots. Rob, you operate okay in the second slot? Just fine. Ruka in the third slot. And then an occultist. This is where things get dicey. <laughs> no stress relief either, but decent damage potential, perhaps very good damage potential. Oh, there is stress relief. Disregard. Okay, so... Unequip all trinkets. Sort by rarity. Boss fights are always scary. Extra healing skills. Then, a unit that doesn't attack... ...takes this. For extra tankiness. Your dodge is so high... ...I'm gonna give you the focus ring. Trade a little dodge for good accuracy and crit. And you know what? Let's give you the dodge right back. There you go. A lot of extra speed as well. Then, our bounty hunter. No, you can't stack them. <laughs> I thought we were being a genius, but... Plus one speed, plus four dodge is good. And then... Extra damage on your melee skills. And then a leper. Plus 10% stress, but I mean, it's a good armlet. Eight accuracy, three crit. I don't know if stress is a big deal here. It may or may not be. You know what? Yeah. Extra damage if you're in position one. This seems acceptable. So we're doing... Let's take a look at the cheat sheet. We're doing a medium wield against a, an enemy that's likely to blight. So 16 to 20 on food. We got the cash, but let's not spend it, you know? Let's take 18. Four to five shovels. I'll go four for now, but you got me scared. Three to four anti-venom. It's a boss fight. Let's go for four. Three bandages. Medicinal herbs of two. Two to three skeleton keys. One to two holy water. Is this just too much stuff to carry? Like, <laughs> how are we supposed to have any inventory space? You know, I'm going to forego holy water. I'm going to forego medicinal... You know, I'll take a holy water down here. I know medicinal herbs can give us a bunch of food, but we already taken 18 of it, right? Ah, this is where you get cooked in a pot. ...on ancient herbal properties, and was set to enjoy several weeks immersed in comfortable study. My work was interrupted, however, by a singular... A singular striking. striking! ...woman who insisted on repeated calls to the house. Okay. There is method... In the wild here. I'm hoping it's down here, but if we choose wrong, that could be a big difference maker. Alright. This is a good fight. Get acquainted with what's going on with the party members here. We could shuffle them. They only have 8 HP. Should be highly destroyable. Good stress relief as well. I didn't even think about that. No heal necessary. Smack you with one of those. I actually... Let's, your speed is one. Your speed is two. So I'm thinking... Never mind. It's not a stress heal. It's just lower stress in the future. So it probably... Is not a top stress healer. It's more like an ounce of prevention is where the pound of cure is supposed to be. So this is a medicinal herb situation. I'm 90% confident in that. And it choose not to interact with it as a result of the fact that we didn't take medicinal herbs. And I'm just going to say that that's good for us because there's more inventory space for later. Curio. Many battles. That's okay. So trap destruction. There we 
There we go. It is W. Dan just got low rolled last time. Pack has already been looted. First real battle with a curio that does, I think, benefit from holy water. Rabid rush. These guys are fast. Oof. Mostly annoyed with the crit for the stress purpose, but... We can camp to remove stress if we're on the right path to the boss fight right away. The bleed is not that bad. Okay, I mean, you're up. Really, I think your job is pretty much just smack these guys. The heal even is unnecessary. Well, Fox Mulder sometimes he's got to step up, you know? Here's the thing, Fox Mulder does less damage, but Rook is a cat, so you know, you gotta cut him a little bit of slack in the whole scheme of things. Now you, this is a great hue opportunity. Didn't get the second kill, but still. And then, uh, hey, I've forgotten all about Robert here. Robert's got a bellow, he's got a stun. Might as well take the guaranteed kill. So it'd be great to get a stun this turn. We don't get to use the flashbang, though, so yeah, we'll just go for the kill. Hey, it's stress relief as well. All right, all right, all right. Pristine fountain. Triumphant pride precipitates Pristine fountain. The fountain is pristine. Holy water gives you a stress heal of 30, or you can get a stress heal of 20 just by touching it. I'm going to use the holy water for inventory space. And also the stress heal, you know, the bonus is fine as well. So we got more combat coming right up. The sack is empty. Mm, when it's summer vacation and you're 14 years old. Okay. I don't know what you do here. It's kind of a weird one. Well, you could heal your boy for 19. Seems relatively good, even with the bleed. Now that he's got two bleed on him, let's apply that. Another one falls. Okay, the pretty clear. Like the basic combat here is going to be relatively simple. Pretty much destroying. Room encounters might be slightly harder, and then of course the boss is just—you never know, I guess. combat again mm, and a good opportunity to take advantage of inventory space hate that we didn't get a surprise here but that's life good dodge tomo dodging the hits just like he dodges the pets all right a little stress oh sorry that was my spoon um that's not that bad because we can land a self stress relief plus we're probably going to camp at some point 9 to 18 so there's a chance of a kill kind of feel like i'd rather Stun the stress dealer, though. Dude, the howling wolves are freaking me out. Okay, so we gotta think about this. Crush seems relatively good. A crush into a hue in particular. Yeah, that's a, a likely hue kill, so a little bonus associated. Then you gotta think about this. Would you rather do, like... Hold up. Can you do collect bounty? Yes, on you. No, it has to be a unit up at the front. Okay, so I think we'll vulnerability hex you. We'll give our bounty hunter a better chance of destroying. Well, you're probably gonna be killed anyway, but um, to give our bounty hunter a better chance of killing you. Stress is getting a little bit out of hand. It's all right. In time. You will know what it feels like to lose. To feel so endlessly that you're right and to fail all the same. Stop. We killed the, the stress creating units last. That's like your number one. Never do this. That's pretty sweet though. <laughs> so we're just gonna slowly lower our dude's own stress and it's not gonna be ideal but 
It is what it is. If we could ice one, that's better than a stun. And then stun the other one and get as many self-heals as possible. Can't stun you. Sorry to tell you. Looks like you're going to have to die instead. I don't take pride in that because we do still have, like, way too much... Uh, wait, we didn't take weapon. any skeleton keys. Push on to the task's end. Well, worked out okay. Starting to increasingly think this will not be the Nature boss fight. Herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Mm, okay. Halt. A spider web with a strange glow. No, it's bandages. Yeah. Gotta remember. Spiders are bleed. Spider webs bleed. Spider webs bleed. Spider webs bleed. Is this the boss fight? It is the boss fight. Okay. Here's what you do. Fight first. Whew. That's lucky. Just get this fight out of the way. This is an advanced level technique. You ain't ever seen your boy do this one before. Definitely should not have hewed. Anyway, can't carry the holy water, this huh? Expedition That's okay. Just dump success. it. Then walk backwards for a slight stress penalty and start camping. Because we're leaving as soon as we kill this boss. I'm not worried about the gold at all right now. Okay, is there anything that prevents ambush? No. That's like the only thing that could ruin this. Huge. Stress of 24. All companions plus 10% damage. Dude, absolutely. I, I mean, I want to lower your stress, but I also want to give us the maximum dodge chance that's ever been given ever in Earth's history. So yeah, I think this is fine. You with 24 stress will make it work. The Did not get ambushed. Good. Okay, get ready. You're in born. trouble. I remember, she puts a boy in the pot. You got to kill the pot to get the boy out. Pop torches, no food necessary. All right, let's go to town. Nobody should be surprised we're aware of the situation. It is tough for us to do damage at the back. But your move resist is 200. Your stun resist is 100. You got no protection, so us marking you is not worth a lot. Um, the pull's never going to happen. So what is your job? 20% chance for a stun or just beat the crap out of the cauldron, which has insane protection? I'm going to start beating on the cauldron. It's immune to damage. That would have been good to know a few moments ago. She only has 66 HP. As ridiculous as this might sound, I think we've got an okay chance to kill her. <laughs> That's the only, oh thank god. That's the only dude who can't, uh... The only dude who can't be thrown in the pot. He would cause us some serious problems. This is a weird one, because, like, I don't know. You, the pot's immune to damage right now. Okay, fair enough. Meat tenderizer. Four damage to one unit is not relevant in the least. We got to, like, crush on her. We're just waiting for a crit that might wipe her out. All right, the bounty hunter into the pot. My son is in the pot. I'm going to need you to get out of there. Now at least we have something to do with our other units. We're still in an okay order here as well. We're going to win this boss fight, no problem. Only thing that could stop us is uh, if she gets a meat tenderizer crit. That would be really bad. So we have to move forward one. But that pushes our leper back. But we're the only unit that can hit. 
So. You know what? Move forward two then. Then your leper can move forward one. You have to go for the stun. There's really nothing else that makes any sense. At least do something. I have to stress yet again, this man cannot be in the pot. It's very important to me that he is outside of the pot for the duration of its existence. Do not season my boy. He's not going into your pot. Sorry to do this. This is one of two units that can hit the Wizen Hag. Even though a vulnerability hex probably would have taken you out of the pot. Good dodge. Good dodge. I know. I know. Rest assured, I'm aware. Alright, welcome to safety. You did take a lot of damage in the process. There's no question about that. No crits. Good dodge. Good dodge. Really, you just go for the stun again. You could throw a mark on the cauldron, maybe, but... Alright, we're back. That's a crush. He's mad. Similarly. One of these days it may work. Not today. This time, probably wise. Put the heel on your uh, man-at-arms. Or, uh, and man-at-arms. Just, uh, I'm aware of the fact that, uh, it's not really amazing that, uh, you know, we healed him for zero. And for that, the occultist will spend a lot of time in the pot. Just to be honest with you. I think he may spend the rest of the game in the pot. I don't think he's going to be on death's door. Because I think... All we got to do is get this guy handled reasonably quick. Ah, we'll, we'll probably take him out. I just don't want to move the man-at-arms back. That's the dangerous part. It's not like our leper can do anything else. I don't want him to be on death's door. You know, it's Fox Mulder. He's my best occultist. Well, but NL, he's your only occultist. I know what I said. Precision and power. Yeah, you might have gotten into trouble. Do you ever consider the expression, it's fun getting into trouble? Like the old board game? Dude, this was actually completely fine. Like, like, actually, actually completely fine? We're, we're low on inventory space, so I don't really want to continue exploring on this mission. I'd rather just start up another mission right away. We could do two in this episode, that's fine. Hero's Ring? If we got nothing else, the virtue chance is worth something, I assume. Only happens when you get to 100 stress, but I mean, that's what kept our boy Malf in the game. Rob has ascended to level 3. We still got a bunch of level 2s, which is good. We can use them for stuff. Our family mm. name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent by accident. Stop, please. By accident, an enterprising charlatan brewed an ancient, potent draft made from dust harvested from the comet. It can work wonders for a price. Well, it cures a disease for every hero for 30 shards. That seems great, but we cannot afford it. Mathis lost the yips. Everybody else is doing well. It's a start, you know? So let's, um, we need no stress relief after that. Everybody's doing fine. Let's, uh, go out on another quick mission here. If they exist. Short mission, sure. Skirmish. Medium mission. Eh, I'd rather do a short one, honestly. 100% of room battles. If you put Rob on this mission, does he go like, I am, I'm better than this? I don't know. We can also do a short intermediate mission. Yeah, I kind of don't dislike that idea. Uh, but we don't want to level up our medium... Our medium boys too fast, right? Gotta make good things last. And... We really should do this, because it's... uh, Like, we want to get to the cove boss, but I'm worried about encountering this guy, too. What a, what a unique scenario. Okay, I think we can get away with this short one here. With a, a little classic squad like this. 
I'd like to take Nick on the mission. I, I have struggled to find a place for the Arbalist right now. I'm definitely guilty of just like, you know, committing to a couple of classes and considering them the best, but we've been doing an okay job of shuffling, but we could do better. Generally speaking, lower your damage to raise your health, yes. And then, minus 25 stress if your torch is high, plus 20% stress skills. Beautiful. And then, usually, we'll like lower someone's dodge, and then raise it again. Ah, but she's a natural, so we would actually prefer to do this exact thing. On you. And then just give her none, because it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so it's a short wield. Rare. I really didn't expect a boss fight to be that fast here. These guys might be due for a level up. I'm going to take eight food. Three shovels. Two bandages. Two medicinal herbs. Let's take one skeleton, keep one holy water. Eight torches. Very light inventory on this one. Alright, so another boss down, and we're back to the wield. Beware the mark of death the fungal artillery can put on you. It tells their fungal zombie to etc. etc. Dude, I love it. A linear path. No backtracking required. Phil Collins, no backtracking required. And we're back with the squad we had last episode. This is a different tree. It's an old tree. You know what? Old tree. Anti-venom gives you extra loot. 25% chance of a blight. I didn't take any anti-venom with me into the wield. To be fair, the cheat sheet said 0 to 1. Don't risk it. This is exclusively... Not necessarily just a high yield gold run, but... I don't really want to take blight that could throw things into question. There we go. Guilt free. Sax contents are Glittering yours. Gold, trinkets and, trinkets and bubbles. bubbles. Paid for in blood. First combat. Alright, a stealthed enemy. We do have some AoEs, but gotta think about it. We want to take care of the stress creating unit as soon as possible. But. You know, I kind of like this. I like the battle buff too, but I like getting some DOT on the uh, the stealth unit. You really have no choice. It's like we go for a 50% stun, or we smack you pretty good. I'd rather smack you pretty good, even though you got 95 HP. Now here, I do look at Impale. Very unlikely to get a kill. Instead, sadly, well, actually, a pierce is really good. If we could just find a way to get damage done at the back. Curse of Vulnerability. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Minus dodge and accuracy is pretty bad. Stressful incantation, we already know, is bad. No heals necessary, so you probably go for a judgment. Needed a higher roll, but, uh... If we can get an Impale, it might get two kills here. Huge, huge dodge. You get to go again, huh? Okay. Embrace the dark. Huge dodge yet again. I could bleed you. But I think Impale is very likely to get two kills. So I'd rather do some stress relief. You get to go again! The speed! She resisted the move. She resisted the move. Alright, this guy's got problems. So it'd be very nice to stun him. Our HP is pretty good. Resisted the stun. That's You, you just have to accept that that can happen. Huge impale. There's a little bit of blight associated. One and three. You're not dead yet. Are you actually kidding me? Okay, fair enough. So you never get to go again. Oh, you missed! Definitely should have taken some anti-venom. I'm not gonna say that the guide lied to me, but you know, you can use your own uh, 
judgment there to figure out how I feel about the guide telling us to take 0 to 1 anti venom right now. But it's okay. We're actually we're still in control of the fight. We do we've got to use heals now is what it comes down to. And that's okay. He's got no protection, so I'd rather go for the wicked hack and that's pretty strong. Very mild stress relief on a unit that does not need it. And heal for eight. Nothing wrong with that. Staying up here. What are you doing? Tree branch smackdown. That's 18 damage. Resisted the move at least, but... You don't have 2 HP, right? No, I would never forgive myself. If you had 2 HP left and you got to do one more attack. On its own. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Okay, good heals. What are you gonna do now? No tree branch smackdown, please. You got 23 life. You need to be hit for 18. Forgive me. Resisted the stun, which is very bad for us. 21 dead. She's on death's door instantaneously. Facing the abyss. That's crazy. Just handle it. Blood quickens. Please tell me our vessel goes next. No! It's so annoying. Speed of one. I, the thing is, I don't want you to... I want our vessel to go next. Huge! Death is patient. No tree branches. Oh my god. Oh, no kidding. Heal you. And then I didn't think about that one. Alright, well that's horrible. But I'm sorry to tell you, as of yet, you cannot eat. No combat. Combat. Okay, so we're really, really gonna bank on surprising. Nature herself, a victim to this. I am an. Corruption. Malformed. Slow down. Intent. Slow down. You used. You used the shovel. It was uh, quite the opposite. You chose not to use the shovel. This would be a great opportunity to have used some medicinal herbs. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and all that. Okay, everyone be cool. That was obviously bad and dumb. We learned immediately. Just don't do it again. I, In my head, in the, and it was wrong, but in that very brief moment, I was like... The hand connects to the shovel, so why wouldn't we? Eat. Good. Good opportunity. Keep yourself not dead. Alright, surprise would be extremely nice. Ah, fairly weak enemies. No surprise, but fairly weak enemies. We base, in my opinion... Yeah, I think we need the stress heal. Most, again, because of my own idiocy, but... Uh, what's a blight resist? It's fairly high. Pierce might be just the best option. Although, Adder's Kiss... 7 to 14 instead of 6 to 12. Okay, well... Hope it blights, but if it doesn't, so be it. Pretty much have to go for the kill. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay. <laughs> Slowly rebuild. We healed for one, technically. Now, if you could just not a thank you. Thank you for switching up your target. That's all I could ever ask for. We can rebuild this one, okay? Dan's got some sick bangers. He's gonna pull out here. Everybody's gonna be happy. There's a little stress relief. Very slowly, we're gonna start to... Oh! Or extremely quickly, we're gonna get ourselves all good to go. Two damage. Blight? Two damage, not that. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, dude, honestly, like... You didn't hear it from me. The longer this fight goes on, the happier I am, probably. Except for our loss of torches. 
we might be able to work ourselves back out of a jam here. Or we might just, you know, kill you basically instantly. But, yep, you are dead on your turn. Um, this is more of a party heal situation, I think. The wounds sure. Of war can be healed. All right. We, we look a lot better now than we did mere seconds ago. A handsome reward. Do you think we have enough shovels, by the way? Well performed. Starting... Ooh, okay, more combat there. Starting to not feel so terrible about the uh, mistake we made with that shovel. Here's the thing. I think I've done that once in every single playthrough I've ever done. This has got to be medicinal herbs. Mummified remains. Bandage gives you golden trinkets. Ooh, book of relaxation. Interesting. Tree. I just looked at this one. I'm sorry. Old tree. Anti venom. Well, that won't be necessary. No combat. No combat. Only got to complete 100% of room battles again. We're actually pretty happy when we have room battles now because if they go well, it's stress relief. That's the end. Okay, so we're going all the way. That's fine. It's an old tree. We'll not be touching that. It's combat. It's combat with one of the enemies who got us into this mess in the first place. I think you want to start working on him, but maybe, just maybe, quick little battle ballad. Good dodge. Good dodge. Alright, your blight resist is high, but Adder's Kiss is still more damage and if it blights you. No, that's fine. High roll on damage at least. 50% chance for a stun, but it's a little risky. Gotta get some lead damage starting to work on you. And honestly, I think we're in a party heal situation. Ah, oh, this guy does so much damage though. Feels like a 50% chance for a stun on an enemy who does 20 damage per turn is probably your real option there. That's that's your best course of action. Now you know we gotta deal with this lady, but six to 12, or five to 10, 24 crit, 20 crit. This does have a blight chance. I'm willing to give it a shot. Sure. It's good damage over time. Now, stress relief, perhaps. Could put damage over time on this person, but as soon as they come out of stealth, they're basically dead. Let's see if we can't game the system a little bit. Keep lowering that stress. 5 to 10. 8 to 16. Oh! Who needs the dot when you got the crit? Huge! This unit is now useless, and I am loving it. Again, we could use a heal, but we don't need it, so I'm going to go for the high percentage stun on the stress creator and then we really I think on this next turn we want to go hard on this guy resisted the blight that's huge okay so just slay him he needs to take 23 more damage which is actually pretty hard not if you get a double crit maybe now he needs to take 12 damage That'll do it. He's done. He doesn't get a chance to attack. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. You're not dead yet. You Monsters probably get to go first. You have speed nine. No intrinsic merit. You don't Unless get to go first. I can't hit you, so we might as well do stress relief. And dude, we have pulled out of a tailspin. Little bit of stress may be coming, but front doesn't look like it. Look at that. Party's looking good. We were in crisis, and we could still be, but right party composition has brought us out of a jam. No torches remain, so we gotta just deal with what we got here. No stuns, so... Oh, I really would have expected a rabid rush to come out first. Um, you know what? Battle ballad first worked for us. Ooh. Uh, I could use some chopsticks. Yeah, thank you. Free dumpling delivery. It's not even my birthday. Your blight resist is very high, but this is still the most damage. It's fine. Not great, but fine. Thank you. 
Um, you gotta take the kill, right? 76. Can't even hit him. Okay. Bit of a waste. But, stress relief. Small stress relief, but stress relief nonetheless. Embrace the dark. Didn't dodge it this time. Not that much stress. More concerned about our light. <laughs> uh, but dazzling light... Helps you out a little bit. Ah, I still think that's the right play there, but... It's not like you can pre-heal, so... What do you think it is, an oven? Okay, so we gotta go buck wild on this guy. Um, you could battle ballot again. Or you could start to put some dot on him. I genuinely believe the battle ballot is the right call. I don't think this is a meme play. Because of your stack. His blight resist is high. 24... 25. This. That's a high roll. You resisted the blight, which is fair. 22, 5 to 10. So we'll go for the higher crit chance. That's okay. Um, really just trying to... I, we don't want to use Barbaric Yop on this guy because we don't want to lower our own damage. But we do have to heal him. Or we do, or sorry, we do have to heal Hafu ASAP. She'd still be on death's door if she was targeted, probably. Mm, targeted by Tree Branch. Fusion spores. Okay. Um, certainly bad. The Jester is still where they need to be. Now I think I'm looking at getting some damage on the field. <laughs> what? what a horrible turn. Six damage. Okay, so she died before she could mess things up anymore. No tree branches, please. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You tree branched the unit that had HP. Not mad. Let's start getting some stress relief out here. We're back in control to some extent. Hmm. You caught me. I'm eating a dumpling. I couldn't do anything else because I don't want to move back. There we go. Now, this is a weird one, because I genuinely think the stun is the best option. We may have been lucky, but uh, next turn we'll do a heal for sure. The only question is a heal on, on who. Pretty unlikely to get a kill. So, here we go. Adder's Kiss... It would have been a great turn for two crits. Resisted the Blight. It is what it is. I guess you would throw the heal on... Hafu. Eight to six. Good crit. Okay. Next turn, you're likely to die. No tree branch. Oh. Okay. Everything is fine. People are not enjoying themselves on this quest. <laughs> like, people have been on death's door. They've been as happy as they could conceivably ever be. Come on. You need eight damage. I thought about going for it. In hindsight, I'm very glad we didn't, I think. Unless it would have killed them. In which case, of course, that would have been the best option. If we get her stress down to zero, she loses the debuffs, right? There we go. That probably gets her stress down to zero. One. Okay. Shuffle. Take a look. Um, what, is, what the heck is this? Eldritch something? Eldritch altar? I think it's holy water. You know what? Get Discord out of here. I'm going to assume it's holy water. Let's do something for ourselves. Holy water purifies the altar. Dark temptation, quirk removed. Okay, two more combat. Do not want to eat yet for potential stress-related concerns. About to have combat. Okay, more stress-related enemies, but the, the front enemies are very weak. Very weak indeed. We go first. No! <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, I mean, you could do with a party heal, honestly. Pretty important. Slight underkill. Like Bilbo Baggins' pseudonym when he checks into a hotel in Hobbiton. It was pronounced Hoboken. Uh, yeah, of course, go for the Pierce, and then all you've got to worry about is stress. That's not nothing, but there's no real reason to stress right now. What do you, I mean, who cares, right? Fetid sensor. Light? Maybe I shouldn't have moved you up. It's not really compassion, like, it's not discompassionate, but it's more like self-interest, like, I don't want to die. Dan, by the way, he's doing exactly what he does in real life. When things get tense, he's just keeping that level of stress low. And it's helping out more than you could ever possibly understand. The thing is, we know we have combat. So if we could take an extra turn to heal by landing a stun, I would be stoked. Okay. So I'm going to start with like a party heal. Because our healer, Mathis, needs the heal. And then we'll probably go for the heal on Hafu. 26, 23. All right, dude, we, we pulled it back. Again, we've been up and down many times in this fight so far. That's okay. Do you think we'd, you know, take an extra turn? Probably not. Probably a bad idea. We might not have a choice. Ah, uh, we are going to have a choice. Alright. For once, we actually have more than enough inventory space. Torches, please? <laughs> Little light on light. All right, final battle. Here we go. Tanky enemies at the back that cause blight. It would be nice to crush them. Middle enemies easy is because of the jester's bleed. Oh, and if it bleeds. I still think you open with a maybe. Maybe in this case you go for that. I hate it because we lose the battle ballad, but to kill an enemy is probably more valuable. Big slime. Oh yeah, big slime. Seems easy enough so far, right? I actually think a stun is in order. We're not using it that often anymore, but this buys us a turn of being able to deal with... Uh, the big man, if we want. Or we go for the... The dot. There we go. Okay, so you're dead. Now we can focus on you. Your blight resist is high, but I mean, you still go for an adder's kiss, probably. The, the blight damage is just so good. Probably like a... Party heal. Yeah, dude, no complaints. We're gonna make it out of here. Doesn't seem like we're gonna have big stress problems. You never know, I suppose, but... I mean, I'm actually at the point where I'm like... If we can get stress down to zero, let's go for that. Have everybody leaving this mission better than they started it. Your bleed resist is high, so I'm going for raw damage. Big slime. Until it causes stress, I'm not sweating it at all. Really, this is all about just Dan slowly killing the stress and everybody involved in this party. And he's doing a fantastic job, let me tell you that. 
You resisted the blight, so you're not dead, but you're dead. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Dude, big mission. Return to Hamlet. Good stuff. Boss kill. Strong mission. Pulled it back from the brink after making some truly terrible mistakes. Ooh, we, we actually pushed Dan and Maya to level 5, which I didn't think we would do, and I think is maybe... This is what we lost on the mission. It's maybe bad. Hafu absolutely... I mean, Ignore's stealth is amazing. She has to be treated for Creeping Cough. Deadly. Yeah, sure. Has to be treated for the minus 20% damage. Medical Ward is free. Okay. Justin and Mulder just got a stress bonus as well. Well, if the Medical Ward is free... Treat the Creeping Cough. We might as well treat Dan's Tapeworm. 32,000 gold. Dude, now we're cooking. Let's get a slightly larger roster, please. We've been waiting on that for a while. McBay. No, it's McRae. Okay. Dude, feeling good. Thanks for watching. We'll see what we do on the next episode. Probably we need to get a few more uh, level 3s and level 4s. So we'll probably do a level 1 mission. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It's a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.